Nekesa, you'll come back. Jacqueline, you'll come back to the lesson. Uh, who is praying? Nay, are you praying for us? Nay, are you uh, praying? Someone to pray for us, please. Lucy? Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy pray. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Almighty Father, we come to you this day thanking you for the gift of life and gift of salvation. We pray that as we're going to continue with our science lesson, may we understand everything that the teacher is going to teach us, and may we put it into practice what he's going to teach us today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So everybody to mute now. So everybody to mute. Very good. So welcome to the science lesson. Uh, I hope we are not going to have breakdown. Uh, uh, I hope we are not going to have breakdown. So just learn to mute yourself. Before we start the lesson, like Tabitha, just Jasmine, mute yourself, mute yourself, please. Don't uh, 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 you only unmute when there's a question you want to ask, so that uh, we don't your, your microphone is on, Tabitha. Uh, these people here who are joining us, class seven. I think these are the class seven. These who are joining us from class seven, please ensure that your microphone is off because if it's not off, you will be removed from the meeting. Tabitha, Tabitha, put your microphone off. Tabitha, put your microphone off. Yes. Uh, we, we, um, so uh, let's start now. First of all, as I, uh, we have already been uh, doing this time again. We did not do well uh, because our mean, mean score. Whoever can see what was our mean score? Uh, Evelyn or uh, Sharon, check. There was up. Uh, what was our mean score in this paper? Check, please. Seventy-one point forward. Seventy-one point forward. Wow, 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 wow! Science, science. We had a mean score of seventy-one. <laughs> that one is that one is not right. That is not right, guys. Because as I told you last time, that science always is one of the the most performed subjects during the normal time. And uh, when it comes to KCP, sometimes we get low marks because uh, everybody know what science is. That's even why we have even brought class seven in this, because we are gonna find the discussion we are gonna have, uh, very few questions are for class eight. The rest are for five, seven, five to seven. So science, first of all, as we have been told by Mr. Waroi in the SS lesson, uh, here we need to, uh, to read deeper. We need to read and also when we are answering questions, we need to analyze. That's why I normally say science paper should be very dirty. To me, each and every question is important in science because every, every choice is an answer to another question. So the science choices are not from anywhere. They are from the syllabus. So they come, they can be an answer for every question. So ensure that you analyze your paper underline the keyword keywords are the main thing underline them so that you know what exactly you are talking about sketch a diagram if there is a a question that is coming from a diagram know the observation and conclusion if the question is a practical question uh label the diagrams if the diagrams are the normal diagrams and sketch their function before you answer the question meaning before you go to the choices in a science paper, you have to deal with the questions very well and understand the question and know what the question wants. 
Then now when you go to the chases, again, you eliminate. You use what we call elimination method. But you cannot eliminate if you don't know. So you have to know first is when you eliminate. So read hard so that you know. Then after that, you'll be able to analyze every question, every choice. Every question, every choice. Two hour, one hour, 40 minutes is enough. If you pick one minute per question, you will you realize that you will spend, uh, uh, no, one and a half minutes per question. You will spend around uh, six, uh, 70, 70 to 80 minutes in a science paper. Then the remaining paper, remember, you are told to transfer twice. Can you remember to transfer twice? Mean you transfer, but again, have time to go back and check. Uh, if number one, my number one was A, did I write number one as A or I wrote number two? So that's what is meant by the word transfer twice. Check, you transfer again, then you go back and check and find if uh, you have chosen the correct answer. Please, all choices in science matter. All choices. Because they are coming from the syllabus. They don't come from anywhere. This is not a sense that now there are, there are some confusion maybe mountain and hills. If we are talking about a uh, digestive system, the choices will be for digestive and also for breathing. If we are talking about flowering plants, the choices will be non-flowering plants and flowering plants. If we are talking about uh, uh, um, uh, insect pollinated flower, the choices will be insect pollinated flower and wind pollinated flower. In other words, what am I trying to say? In every science question, there is an opposite of that question that can be tested. Meaning choice A, B, C, D is an answer to another question, not the one that was asked there. So all the choices are correct. These are the things that you need to know in science. And also you need to read hard. Read, 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 read. Have the knowledge. And I always say, uh, and I like some people who normally engage me after the paper. I like them. Those guys, those guys, like in a Sharon, like in a, like in a, there's a, a number I did not save, but I don't know is who. Like in a Bonnet, uh -huh, like in a Evelyn, who always don't sleep before they know what was the answer to that question. Because when I do a paper, don't just do an exam. This is an exam paper that we are doing. They are for revision. So I should not just do a paper for normally uh, uh, that I've done a paper. Now, every evening, Wednesday, we are doing science. No. If I do science paper, I should not go to sleep before I know what is the answer to this question that I failed. Where can I get it? So that when KCP comes, you, you are by, by one hour, 20 minutes, you'll already been done and got everything correct. So make sure you revise thoroughly. So I want to start with the questions that were the most fail, but class sevens you'll also get to know that, that these questions they are coming from your classes, are all they are coming from class six and below. So you'll not be floating. So Sharon, we move to number. We are starting with number eight, I think. So if you now check, check. We are we want to finish with the most fail question first before we answer people's questions. So we we were supposed to start with number eight. Sharon wrote them somewhere. Yeah. So we are supposed to start with number eight. Now, if you get a question at like number eight, that which one of the following is the main reason why farm animals are fed on concentrates? That is a KCP question. And if you have a booster, if you have a booster, you can confirm that. That this is one of the most tested questions on animal feeds. And uh, it's also a KCP question. I think this one was tested in 206. I can check that. You can check it for us there. 206, I think that question was tested. It was tested. So which one of the following is the main reason why farm animals are fed with concentrate? So before you do the question, you make sure you know what we call animal feeds. That's the first thing. Neymar, we'll, uh, I've given you one minute. I've muted you once, then the second one you will be 
removed from class. So I have been asked a question on animal feeds, but they have specific talking about concentrate. But I have to know, do we have another other animal feeds? We have the fodder, we have the pasture, we have the conserved feed, and then concentrate, which are sometimes called commercial feeds. Concent concentrates are the things that are added into the commercial feeds to make them more nutritious. That is what, that's what we call the concentrates. They are the things that we add in the commercial feeds. And what are the commercial feeds? They are the feeds that we buy. We don't make them or we don't just go and cut them. We buy them from the uh, from the from 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 from, from the what agrovets or whatever places they are in. So why do you think you are supposed to go and buy food for an animal instead of giving the animal grass that is readily available? It is because to increase the production. You want good meat, yes. You want a lot of milk. You'll, you'll go and look for the food that will give you, will make the cow produce milk. So concentrate, concentrates are bought or they are added in the commercial feeds mainly to increase what we call the production. So the person who failed this question, I hope you have understood what was supposed to be done there. Thanks, yeah, listen, 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 listen. I, I, and I want somebody to look for this question in KCP. This KCP 206, I think so. Those who are having the boosters, check 206. There's something I want to talk about that. There's something I want to talk about there. Number. Let me tell you which number. Uh -huh. Animal feed 206. 206. Is it 206? No, it's not 206. It is 207, number 11. To seven number eleven. And again, uh, that is to seven number eleven. But I want you to look for another one. That is uh, uh, sir, I got it. Okay, just have it. Then I also want you to look at somebody to get twenty ten number thirty four. Twenty ten number thirty four. Uh, can you read? Can you read 206 now? 207? I have it. Yeah, read it. Read it. A, a, pupil, a pupil gave the following reason as to why dairy cattle are given commercial feeds. Mm -hmm. To increase milk production, mm -hmm. give only to cattle under zero grazing to supplement mm -hmm. the feeds only mm -hmm. when fodder crops and pasture are not available. Which mm -hmm. two reasons are correct? Mm -hmm. So tell us which one is a, which two are correct. Eh? One Roman one and Roman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roman one is to increase milk production, and Roman three is to supplement other feeds. Is that correct? Um, to increase milk production, that is Roman mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So choice A is correct, eh? So the choice is A. Very good. Who has got that 2010? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number me. Number 2010 is number 34. 34. Which one of the following statements is not true about commercial feeds for mm -hmm. animals? They are given mainly for protection against mm -hmm. diseases. Some are given as the only feed. They are mm -hmm. given mainly to increase production mm -hmm. some are given together with other feeds mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your answer your answer a they are given mainly for protection a is protection now so why do you think I have given you those two questions? And there are so many. So, so I can't you say Justin? choice A is correct because when you say they are mainly given for protection against diseases, like the commercial feeds, like 
zinc that provides vitamins and mineral salts. Those help in for those help. Yes. Can you unmute? Can you unmute now? Just unmute. We have gotten your question. Uh, this girl called Jacqueline also to unmute. Jacqueline Jane, kindly unmute. We don't want echoes. Okay. Now, uh, Justin and the, the person who failed this question, the person who was asking to his aim, I want you to I want you to be very 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 keen with science questions. They are direct, but they have some words. Remember, we said when you are doing a paper, you should be checking what we call the keywords. So the keywords here in this question number eight is main. And I brought those two questions because I want you to know the reason why we are not picking supplement other feeds. Why are we not pre, uh, picking to provide necessary nutrients? Why are we not picking? They are easily available. It is because the word here is mean. The word here is mean. So why do I say that? If any time you met a question asking you which one of the following is the main, if you find a question like that, know very well all the four are correct, but one among the four is the main. That's why you see now 2007, there is, we were picking to increase production and to supplement other feeds. Why? Because they have not asked us anything to do with main. They have just asked us which one, which reasons are correct. In 2010, they have said the three. Aya, why are we picking A Justin in number in number number 2010? We are not picking A because they are saying mainly that A that they are only given mainly to pro protect for protection. No, mainly they are given to increase production, but the rest they are also there. Justin. Justin. Yes, you have understood, eh? So mainly, yes. mainly is production, but the rest are correct. Uh, they can be given for protection. They can be given as, as the main feed. They can be given to supplement other feeds. And the main one is that they are given as the main product to increase production. So that's how science questions always are. So when you meet the word best and main, please or mainly, please note that it is because they they are looking for the main among the, the rest thank you the next question evelyn number 10. number 10. somebody wanted us first to answer number nine Ebu, uh, scroll to number nine first we answer for her i've seen the she's saying evelyn number nine is the next please so the diagram below shows a simple weather instrument. Anytime I get the weather instrument, I have to know the principle behind that weather instrument. That's number one. So you know the principle, how it works. Know the materials that is used to make it. That's correct. And then you know the name of that material and then the function of the material. So like this is a windsock, first of all used to measure the direction and the strength of wind found in the where we find it in the what in, uh, the air strips uh -huh. airport. uh, or airports whichever then uh uh open at both ends work under the principle that air occupies space yeah some people's microphones are on Okay. Okay. So those are the things that you need to know about windsock. So which of the following statement is not correct about the weather instruments above? It points to the direction the wind is blowing from. Does the wind vein windsock point direction in which the wind is blowing from? Sure. Uh -huh. To me, the wind vane points to the direction the wind blows from, mm -hmm. while the windsock, while well, the polythene bag is pushed away by the wind, it points to, mm -hmm. to the direction the wind is blowing to. 
So choice A is not correct. Yes. Very good. Higher boy. Why is used to keep both ends open? Somebody? True. Okay. Reason? Kita Karuki. Aya. Aya. It measures two aspects of wind. They were. Yes. They were. They were. Well, they were. It is true because the. Because when they were keep the both ends open, the air will. Okay, then it measures the aspects, the two aspects of wind. True. Yes, reason. Because it measures direction and strength of wind. Very good. So that's why our answer was choice A. So the person who was asking number nine, you are okay now. Let's go to ten now. Excuse me, teacher. Number yes. eight. Mm. Does commercial feeds sir, protect the animals from diseases? Some, not all. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can give, you, you can go and buy for the ones that will provide vitamins. Yes. But, but that is not the main. Yes. Yeah. And are they given as the only feeds? Some. That one is also some. Some are given as the only feed. That's why I brought number uh, 2010 paper. Some are given as the only feed, like chick mash, layer mash, broiler mash. Those ones are given as the main feed. Thank you. Let's move on. What Martin, is the answer? Sir. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Um, on that particular question, Number I was eight. asking, bone meal is created mm. from a fish bone, or uh, I got it wrong. What? What are you asking? Bone meal. Um. Yeah, bone meal. Is it create? Does it come from fish bones, or uh, I got it wrongly? No, it does not come from fish. It comes from bones. That's why we are saying it is obtained by crushing bones. So whichever bones that you are going to crush. <laughs> it does not matter. Bone meal is obtained from crushing bones. So long as yes. it's a bone that has been crushed, it is a, that is a bone meal. Very good. And I'm seeing people are answering those questions down there. That's great. So the answer for 2010 was? The answer for 2010 was A. Oh, thank you. Yeah, mainly. You know that the, the, the reason why A is correct? The fish because they were talking about... Is phosphorus, calcium, yeah, mainly, and... Uh, yes. Ah, yeah. Let's continue number 10. Read number 10 if you fail it. Okay. Read number 10 if you fail it. Which one of the following practices does not conserve soil? So which one of the following practices does not conserve soil? Ah, yeah. I, I don't which know one why. of the following practice soil? <laughs> I'm asking, I don't know why you people, you failed this question. Because this one, you are supposed to do what we call elimination. You eliminate, look at the factors, uh, which look at the methods of conservation of soil. How do we conserve soil? We have terracing, we have gabions, we have forest, afforestation, we have... Um, uh, 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 so many, we are, there are so many, uh, 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 um, uh, what we call, uh, what? We are stalking. We have to talk about proper stalking. That is uh, having enough num number of animals. That's why you are going to find a question here asking you which soil erosion is found on the animal path. Because when you have so many animals, you are going to destroy the soil. And therefore, which one is not? Proper stalking. That is correct. If you stock animals, you have uh, uh, livestock and stock them properly, then you will not cause soil erosion. Avoid burning of tires. Avoid burning of tires and plastic materials. This class eight can answer very well. And I hope you people, you finish the syllabus for science. Science syllabus is always being 
finished by, by March. You are done with the syllabus for science. I hope so, because it's very, very easy. So avoiding burning of tires and plastic materials, that one is causing what we call air pollution. It is not soil. This pollute the air. I hope you have walked in towns. Some of you have walked in towns. You have seen where we are burning tires. That there's a smoke that is going up. You cannot breathe there. It is not easier for you to be in that place for more than ten minutes if uh, there is tires that are being burned there because the air is being polluted. Proper dumping of industrial effluent. That is like uh, like uh, raw sewage and the rest. If you put them wrongly, you are gonna uh, you are gonna uh, destroy the soil. But uh, if you do them properly, then the soil will be okay. The interesting Excuse preventing me, yeah. soil erosion that is real erosion. Yes. Yes. How is noise an air pollutant? How is noise an air pollutant? <laughs> <laughs> you see. <laughs> You see, when you talk, uh, when you talk uh, loud, uh, the, the, the sound is going through the air. Because here we have the air here, the environment here. So uh, uh, noise will become a part of uh, air pollution. The smoke, uh, the pollen grains, uh, the, another one is uh, excess carbon dioxide. Those ones become air pollutants. I think it's because, let me check. But I think it's just because of uh, the, 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 the pollution of the sound that might bring what we call air pollu pollution as the noise. I wanted to read it, but I've not found it. Somebody can read it from primary. Uh, if you have primary science, you can read for us uh, about the noise in air pollution. You can read it. So noise is air pollution, but I uh, don't want to know how is it and noise? Uh, how is it? So somebody can read it from primary science and check. So which number are we going to next, uh, Vilin? As we check that one. Number twelve. Number twelve. Sharon, move number twelve. As I'm, somebody's looking for you, the the explanation for noise. And some people have already written there in the chat, and I like. The charts that I'm seeing today, they are very mature and they are specifically for the discussion we are having. That's what we need to know because we need also to learn from one another. Uh, so you check the charts, please. You also check the charts to see what is taking place there. If you fail number 12, can you read it? If you fail number 12, read it. Which one of the following is not a common constant factor when comparing drainage and capillarity in different types of soil? Very good. Very good. Before you answer that question, and you guys, I want you to listen to what I'm saying so that you can apply these. Science questions are very, very, very interesting. And I'm saying before I answer it, I must know something. You, can, you can't just answer science. You cannot wake up today and go and do science paper. So when we are talking about uh, comparing drainage and, and capillarity, you must know drainage. You also must know capillarity first before you go to the choices. So what are these factors that are uh, uh, we, we, we must be constant when we are investigating drainage? Can you say them first? Then when we are done that, we also do the factors that are, 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 are we, we have to look at when we are comparing capillarity. Then now, once you have list those factors here and these ones here, then you look at which one is common. Me, I like doing science paper, I'm telling you. When I'm doing a science paper, I'm, I'm enjoying. Come on, equation, this side here, this side here, Nandika, factors that are for drainage. Then this side, I write factors for capillarity. Then what do I do now? I look at here and look here, which is which is common. I write the common down there. Then automatically I get the answer. So let's now start with drainage. And mute and talk drainage. What are these factors that you need to consider when you are carrying out drainage? Drainage. The size of the wall, amount of soil. Amount of soil must be the same. Funnel. 
No. Duration. Yeah, the amount of soil. Amount of soil be to the same. Different type of soil. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Same size duration. of cotton wool. Amount. Size. Size. Of amount of the cotton wool must be the same. Correct. Duration. Identical. Duration funnels. of the experiment must be the same. Identical funnels. Identical funnels. So the funnels must be the same. Beaker of the same milliliters. <laughs> size of we, containers. Uh, size of the container, no. Size of the co collecting jar need not to be the same. Because you can collect and go and measure. For drainage, Among but for... Oh, yeah. 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 For drainage, mute, mute, mute. For drainage, the collecting jar is not the same, but for 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 nini, for retention, the collect the the collect uh, the nini is the same. The collecting jar is the same, so that because the drain the the, the nini, the retention has the funnel on it. The, the the retention has the funnel. Whereas this one has the not the funnel but the scale. But the 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 drainage we can measure and then we can uh, take the water and go and measure using a measuring cylinder. So. What we are trying to say now here, those ones are the drainage. What about capillarity now? Let's now have capillarity on the other side. Capillarity? Capillarity? Um, same amount of soil. Same amount of soil. Size of the cotton wool should be same. The amount of the cotton wool need to be the same. The duration taken. The time taken. The time taken, that is the same, correct? The tube, the, the, of the, of the, size, the size of the tube. So here we have tubes. So why, when I'm doing that, I automatically have seen in the drainage, there is nothing to do with tubes. But in capillarity, there is tubes. Therefore, the tubes will be totally different. So if I will be asked a, a question number, next time in number 12, which one of the following is not the same in drainage and capillarity, automatically I've already known Tubes will not be the same. Amount of water in capillarity is not the same with the amount of water in drainage. Because capillarity, it does not need to be the same. You can put the tubes in a, an ocean because the capillarity is talking about rising of water. So it, water can rise whether it is in a cup, in a basin, or in an ocean. So amount of water is wrong. So that choice A is wrong. Size of the cotton will need to be the same. Duration need to be the same. Amount of soil need to be the same. So the answer here is A. And ask me if you fail and you have not understood, ask what me why. Excuse me, Sha. Excuse me. Yes. About the capillarity. Uh -huh. The type of soil. Why should uh -huh. it be the same? And the we are measuring different types of soil. We are Testing different types of soil. Um, you know now I'm not getting what you are asking because you are you are you are, you are saying that the amount, uh, the type of soil, the amount and type of soil are totally different things. We can have same amount of different types of soil. So I don't know. I'm not, I've not gotten you. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. In capillarity, mm -hmm. uh, this, the level of water, should it be the same of the no. basin? Not no. the tube. You see? The level. Ah, uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, you see, the reason why we are, the reason why we are saying that, Mwangi, yes. that, uh, you see now capillarity, we are talking about the rising of water in the, uh, rising of water. Yes. So water uh, rising of water in the soil can happen anywhere. If you I, I put don't... if you put the, the, the if you put the tubes in the in the in the basin and another person put the tubes in a cup, water in a cup, another person put the tube in a water in a, an ocean, they are going to rise the same way if they are the same type of soil. So they rise the same way. Same way. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. It is written here. Yes. The level of water. The level of water. The level of water is what 
it's no it's what needs to be the same and not the amount of water yeah or oh, you you're talking the about level. the level yes yeah the, the, the level needs to be the same because we are putting the tips here on top yeah that's the thing yeah oh, thank you yeah sharon and evelyn sir eh? sir yes kindly repeat the explanation for number um the amount of water you know what we are trying to say what we are trying to say is uh monet or eve we are saying that uh because we are using tubes once all the factors in the tubes are constant the size of the tubes and the diameter of the tubes is the same the the cotton wool that we have put here is the same and we have also put different types of soil so it does not matter where you are going to put the tube if i place this tube here in a basin another one for sand soil in a cup another one for clay soil maybe somewhere the rising will be the same as it was in the same whether it was in a container all of them were in a container or all of them were in the ocean so it does not matter so we just put them in different uh places but the rising will take the same time it will have happened whether it was in a cup or in a basin so that's what we are seeing so i'm on it got it thank yeah. you and you can still you know me i like science do you know the reason why i like science whatever i'm speaking right now if i was like now i tell you one of the uh, before the end of this month we are going to organize one lesson one saturday lesson will be purely practical purely practical lesson so that we, you can test all these things that the teachers are talking about science you need not to be told science you need to investigate you need to investigate and the good thing with science things is that the investigation are done with the improvisation so there's nothing that you're going to buy you, you you are not going to buy anything very few things you're going to buy like candles and you can you still make the candles by yourself you can light fire so uh, if you really have to plan one saturday purely it will be a practical science lesson and we plan we plan exactly what are we going to do that day so we will not have any lesson for around four hours purely practical then we see how it happens are you okay yes and i will tell you i will tell you which which day will it be then we do it so that uh, we find a way of answering these simple questions uh that we are getting here and remember 70 percent of a science paper is an investigation uh an investigation so we do investigation come up with the uh, the answers and then get the correct answer thank you very much the next question number 15 15. Ah, yeah. Why did people fail this one now? This is a normal diagram. A normal diagram, I said you label, then sketch the function. So this is the diagram for class eight, uh, where the baby is here. We are, the baby is supposed to be born. So J, you have to post to label first. J is what? J? Yeah. Umbilical that is God. What about M? What about L? M. Eaters. K. Everybody mute. Everybody mute. Everybody mute? Everybody mute? Very good. Thank you for that. So once, so you see now, once you have labeled that, the way you have labeled, this is a normal diagram, I said, how do I answer normal, answer normal diagram questions? I label them first. Once I've labeled them first, I sketch their functions. So what do you think the function of J is for the passage? What the function of M? M has got three functions, three main functions. 
uh, one person to unmute and tell us m uh, we are we are giving the function of m it, uh, the amniotic fluid acts as a lubricator during birth it okay. keeps the uterus warm and it is a shock absorber I've said one person only, and it was Trevor who was talking. So the rest mute. So Trevor, number one. The amniotic fluid is a shock absorber. Shock absorber. Uh, it it keeps the fetus warm. Keep the fetus warm. And it it acts as a lubricator during birth. It acts as a lubricator during birth. So which letter represents the part that is released out first during birth? Do we release the baby first during birth? No. Sir? Hmm? No. No. I like I'm to no. say that. Okay. Hey, FG? In the process of birth, mm -hmm. the uterus first contracts. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now you are giving us something which. Wait, wait, wait. Now, FG, can you mute? Then you'll talk. So there's something that FG is bringing. Which will help us answer this question. Now, if I want to answer this question, because the question is asking which one is released out first during birth, I must read right here. This space here was left for you to write the process of giving birth. Guys, get me clear. When you are answering science question, those spaces that you have there, you have to fill them with words. So this space we are supposed to write because it is during birth. What are these process of giving birth? Number one, FG, now we start. Number one, process of giving birth. So the uterus contracts, causing labor pain. So the first process is contraction of the uterine wall, causing labor pain. That's number one, those who are writing. Number two. The cervix dilates, and in the process of the uterus contraction, it breaks the amnions. Wait fast. The number two is the dilation of the cervix, expansion. The cervix expands, the expansion of the cervix, so it expands, correct? Number three? The, the amnion sac bursts and it releases the amniotic fluid out. So bursting of the amnion sac and the releasing of amniotic fluid. Yes. That's number four. Number five? The bath. I uh, know. The actual bath, pushing. Yes. Num number five is pushing of the baby. Number six. Tying and cutting of the umbilical cord when the baby is out. Tying and cutting of the umbilical cord, and you have to know why, 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 why is why do we uh, cut and why do we tie? Uh -huh. Number seven. Uh, after some time, the release of the afterbirth, the placenta, which is um, uh, not after some time, just say release of the afterbirth. So you also have to know what are the components of the afterbirth. What are the components of afterbirth? The placenta and the remains of the umbilical cord. So the placenta and the remain of the umbilical cord, the one that remained in the mother. They come out, we call them after bath. So that is yeah. correct. So that is the process. So we are being asked uh, which one is released first during bath. So automatically the answer becomes what? The person who failed? M. M. Amnetic field, yes. Thank you. Somebody was having a question? Okay, let's continue, uh, Evelyn. Sir. Hmm? Sir. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, before birth, mm. the amniotic sac, the amnion sac, mm. does it not come out? You see, amnion sac is going to come out uh, 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 after birth. It's going to it's come with the, with the, the placenta. Yeah, yeah, it will come with the placenta. So amnion, amniotic fluid is the one that is You see when the mothers, and you can ask your mother, you know, the, I, I don't know, science become a very easy thing. This one you can even ask your mother. 
they, when they want, they want to give birth, unaona wanasemanga, my water break. What is the meaning of a water break? It's because the amniotic fluid is coming out through the vagina now. So that shows that the mother is about to give birth. Excuse me, Jack. Yes. And the the head of the head of the fetus faces mm. downwards. Is that a, a story? Okay, Rich. Mute, 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 mute. There are so many people's microphone on. The microphones that are supposed to be on is mine, and maybe Vilins and the rest when they're asking any question. So, Mangi, mute. Mute first. I've gotten your question. Okay. So, uh, whatever you're asking is also one of the choices. So, if it is in the choices, you know, this question for the process of giving birth is always in a process, a process question. So, if turning of the baby is in one of the one, two, three, four, then you'll start with turning of the baby for the head to face the vagina or the cervix. So that one is also a process, but we normally don't put it in there. Uh, we only, uh, if it is in the choices, if it is in one of the, one of the nini, one of the, uh, the, the romance, then we start with it. I hope I've answered you. Does the head of the baby always face down or it only happens during giving birth? It only happens during birth, but no, the baby is freely, the, the umbilical uh, cord and the amniotic fluid allows the baby to freely move inside here, where is where the baby is. But during birth, after during birth, then the baby, the head has to face uh, the the first cervix first. So the the baby has to turn. But the baby is free to turn freely inside here even before birth. But one day, uh, when the, the birth is uh, the baby is about to be born, then the head will face the cervix. And then once the head faces the cervix then everything now uh, start happening. The mother have labor pain and all those kind of things, and then the baby will be born. And then the baby is born, is given a vaccine called BCG to prevent the baby from tibia, tuberculosis. And then polio and hepatitis B. Those are the vaccines that are given immediately after birth. Yes. Correct. So let's move on, Evelyn. Number 11. Number Oh, we are going back. Let's answer the most failed question first. Okay. Yes, we'll come back. Or let's just answer that, but okay. we'll come back. Let's answer the most failed question first. So you're supposed to go to number? 25. 25. You know, because of time, yeah. Let's finish with the most fail. Which type of soil erosion is common on animal food paths? This one, even the marking scheme was saying, real now let me tell you something you know the problem with you and i want you to go to the village during this covid now that you are not going to school visit your grandmother visit your your village because of most of these activities are happening in the village so those who are staying in town might have not been able to experience some of the things that are happening at home, like this one. Uh, I know some of you, Akina Sharon, Akina Evelyn, Akina Justin, they have only seen zero grazing. <laughs> Is that not true? Eh? Your baby, the zero grazing, that's the one that you know. There is what we call hiding. <laughs> you have seen hiding. Eh? No. Yeah. So let let me look for those animals. Uh, animals grazing. Let me just look at them. Harding. Eh? All animals moving. Excuse me. Yeah. Wait, wait. I check. Ask it may question. start as cattle track pads eh? made by vehicles. Yeah. In Gali er erosion, it eh? may start. As as cattle trucks or pads made, made by vehicles. I ah, know vehicles have their own road. The vehicles uh, have a road. And my road. Road. Uh, they have the road, yes. But unless now they are starting moving in a, a wrong place. I wanted to look at uh, a way where we have uh, uh, animals moving. Uh, but I'm not seeing. I wanted to show people why are we saying the answer is gali. 
but uh, uh, let me look for it and then check. I'm still not getting. But uh, but but uh, let me just explain. Eh? Now, before I answer this question, somebody's microphone is on, Dorothy. Before I answer this question, I have to define all this. I have to define all of them. Now, sheet erosion, somebody to define? Sheet erosion? Somebody to open uh, uh, and mute and say? You are defining. It is the carrying away of the topsoil. U uniformly. It is the carrying away of the topsoil by water. Uniformly. Sharon, I want you to put that word uniformly. Yes. Yeah. That's why we sometimes we say it is not notice easily. Because it happens at once. Not easily noticed. Another thing is also called landslide. Landslide. Do you know the meaning of the word landslide? Yes, it comes. So you the only thing you're gonna see is maybe exposed roots of a tree now when I wanna, ah, why is it that these trees i'm seeing their roots then that means sheet erosion has taken place okay what about real somebody to say real real erosion yes this is when real this when uh, Dorothy? Dorothy? Real erosion. It is the carrying it is the carrying away of topsoil by the slow flowing water forming shallow channels on the so ground. This one now have shallow channels. Shallow channels. So you'll be able now to, to see the channel coming from this side, this one, this side, this side, this side. Therefore, they, they, they form channels. So that is real. What about gali? Gali aeration. Mm. Leila? Occurs when, occurs when the top soil is eroded in green uniform layers down a gentle slope. It is not easily noticeable. Sometimes noticed when plant roots are exposed on the surface. Hi. Which one have you read? Gali? Sheet. Gali erosion. Gali, gali. If real erosion is not controlled, it leads to gali erosion. It is common on steep slopes where the fast flowing water from deep V shaped in V or in U or U shaped gali. So for gali, we are talking about deep U V channels. Very big ones. And something is being brought there that if you don't control a reel, we result to gali. That's what you need to know there. So gali as a result of reel, because if you have so many channels coming, then they will form. And this one you can even do outside. Uh, 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 you just go pour water, then at different slanting surfaces, then they will meet somewhere else, then they move, and then they form what? They form a deep channel. So that deep channel is what we call gully. Splash. Yes. Splash. Splash. Yeah. Mm. It is displacement of soil particles by raindrops when they Very hit good. their soil. Very good. Displacement. That is what I want. So water comes like this and then displace the soil and then we have some holes. Mostly happening again uh under the roof and now if i say under the roof uh these people in town they have they have, they have done what the people in town they have already their houses they have even plastered the whole compound so they might not see these holes so go to the village now you will see under the grandmother's home a house up up chini down a holes those are holes for what we call splash i am mute this one. Yeah, make sure you yeah. I am saying my answer is sheet. 
Oh, oh, oh no, you, have, you want to answer the question now, hey? Tell us the reason why. Especially when the animals go for grazing on those flat on those flat land, when they pound their hoofs on the soil, it becomes loose. And when rain, and when rain comes, it washes away the topsoil uniformly on that area. Thank you. Another person. I think the answer is gully because. I mean the reason in the book it says it may start as cut the fruit before the book according to you God. reason you don't have a reason you read yes. later <laughs> other person another person who can uh, explain the answer I am so let me give you an, the reason why the answer is gully, not shit. You know, animals, uh, FG, you say they are grazing there. Inakanyaga hapa, inakanyaga hapa, inakanyaga hapa. So how do you think, uh, 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 why do you tell me that the, the, the soil will be, will be washed uniformly? It will not be washed uniformly because even if they are grazing, there's a place here that they are not stepping on. FG, are you getting me? Yeah, and I forget. Yeah, so the F, the path mean when they are walking. So the animals, when they are walking in a line, and this one you can check with my size. When the animals are walking, in that yeah. process of kukanyaga, kukanyaga kabisa, they yeah. will, the soil now become a uh, deep UV channel. So it automatically it become gully. But already, remember, it's, we have said it starts with real. Eh? So we'll be still having some uh, channel first created. Then after the channels have been created, then they become gully. So the animal path common, the common one will be gully erosion, not real. Well, thank you, Tichana. I get you. Yeah, thank you. Let's move on, Evelyn. Number 33. Number 33. And make sure people are writing the right things there in the chat. We don't want anything. Number 33, move there. Sharon, read it if you fail, like Lucy. Lucy, read it. Polluted water affects animals in the following ways, except. <laughs> this, one, this one was also one of the most failed. In fact, this one, if you look at it, is the most failed question. See, only 17 people got it. Eh? This one here. So there are four pollution that you need to read. Class 8. Class 7, you need to read 2. There is water pollution, sound pollution, class 5, and soil pollution and air pollution. Those four pollutions, make sure you read them because there must be one question. Dennis, you'll be removed from the meeting. We, we need only charts there for science. We don't need any charts that are asking people's numbers. I've seen somebody, I don't have his number. I don't know what we're seeing. So make sure you know that. We only need science charts there. Correct. So once you have read those pollutions, what are you supposed to know? Know how they are being caused, the causes of the pollution, both water, soil, sound, air, know how to control them how do we control water pollution how do we control uh, uh soil pollution and how do we control air pollution and how do we control sound pollution make sure you know those three things i am because every choice for pollution will strictly be under the three mostly they don't like taking te testing sound pollution they like testing water, air, and, and soil. So the choices will be for those three. So let's pick, now, pick them now. Infection by waterborne diseases. Automatically, that is water pollution. If you are infected, you drink water that is contaminated, 
you will be able to get a waterborne disease. And make sure you know what are these waterborne diseases. That one is, that is Bilazia. That is? Cholera. Cholera. That is? Typhoid. Typhoid. Make sure you know them. What are the causes? The cause by contaminated water. How do I control Bilazia? How do I control cholera? How do I control typhoid? Those are the things that you need to know. I am. Killing of small animals in the soil by acidic rain. Now, acidic rain is an example of water pollution here. It pollutes uh, water by excess use of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide. This, uh, that one will kill, uh, will do what? Will, uh, will do what? Will affect the, will, uh, will, will pollute water. But have you ever heard that the earthworms died because of acidic rain? Somebody to say? Have you ever heard that the earthworm or moles that are living no. inside the soil, they no. died because it rained? Sure. No. Uh -huh. sure, I think they can because... Because of what? Becomes acidic. So when the soil becomes acidic, <laughs> then they will die later. Is that correct? Yes. So, so, uh, so they will die as a result of soil pollution or water pollution. Is it soil ama water? Yeah. No. Soil pollution. Yeah, because, because water, when it rains and it's acidic, like water in town, is a very acidic deal because of the industrial gases. I don't think if the animals are going to die because it, uh, uh, the water is polluted. So this that's why this choice B was the one which is correct. But let's look at the spill oil, stick on birds' feather, that's correct making it difficult for them to fly, that is true. Yeah. Inhaling toxic chemicals affect the growth, that is correct. That is air. Yes. Inhaling toxic so How does inhaling toxic chemicals affect yes. them? Se uh, affect them? Affect uh, animals. How does chemicals. air pollution? Yes. Oh, but now you see that they stayed in hell. I'm going to do it for us. Should I read primary class seven? Me, I think the answer is boy, but let's confirm. You know, I don't want to just think of things that are not true. Someone to confirm for us, class seven primary. <laughs> The effects of water pollution on animals. Who is reading? Me. Me is who? Amina. Okay, so the rest to mute. Next. Effects of water pollution on animals. Yes. Animal waste pollutes water by introducing organisms that cause waterborne diseases. Mm -hmm. When animals drink contaminated water, they may develop these diseases. Dissolved mm -hmm. chemical substances and fertilizers may cause harm to animals or even kill them. Mm -hmm. When oil spills on water, it prevents air from dissolving in the water. The fish and other water animals and plants suffocate to death due to lack of adequate oxygen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. So, uh, our choices there, all of them, except boy. Yes. This boy here will be moved. This boy will be moved from the chair. Mwangi, Mwangi, you are making a lot of noise. Mwangi. Yes, mute, please. Okay, thank you. Uh, they... Excuse me, Chief. Could you please explain why water pollution is a result? Oh, dog, eh? dog. Inhaling toxic chemicals affects their, their, gro their growth. The growth of what? Of the animals. Uh huh. Now, you see, when water is polluted, mostly 
It goes to the rivers, can also go to the lakes, and all those kind of things. Eh? So if the animal, that, that water mixes with the air, because the animals, some animals are living inside the, uh, the water, if they inhale those chemicals from the water, then they, they affect the growth of the animals, like, uh, like maybe the fish and the rest. So if water is polluted, the fish will die, the, 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 uh, the, the aquatic life will be affected. Let's just put it like that. So it's because of that, the, the, that, that water comes and mixed with oxygen. And then when the animals breathe that oxygen, then it becomes a, a problem to them. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, but when the chemicals are deposited into the waters, they will be carried away. They will not just stay there because it's not stagnant. Yeah, but there are some animals that are staying there. Where do you think they get the oxygen? From water. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. I think the answer is B because. B, your dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. B. B. Mm -hmm. Because. Mm -hmm. Answer D. For example, the farmer uses mm -hmm. farm chemicals. Mm -hmm. Those are the very poisonous substances talked about here. And the animals living in water obtain the oxygen from water. Yes. When they inhale those toxic chemicals, they affect their growth. Very good. It is written, Mr. Uh -huh. it is written uh -huh. acidic rainfall can also uh -huh. kill can, can also kill small animals in the soil. Where where is it written? In the KCP mirror science. Please, I told you read read primary science. Check for me in primary science. Do we have anything to do with the city crane? And do you know the reason why I normally say primary science? Who knows? Because that is where the exams come from. The exam doesn't come from Mira. Excuse me, with... it comes from primary science. Yes. Yeah, I am reading acid rain Excuse from me. that point. Yeah. From? When it rains, mm. these gases dissolve in water forming acid rain. Acid yeah. rain destroys roofing of buildings, especially iron sheet roofs. It may also kill water animals and destroy plants. Mm. Mm. So this, this one I said killing soil animals. Soil animals. No, water There are totally different between animals. water animals and soil animals. Please, I want you to be very, very keen when you are reading a question. You know, science questions are very, 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 very easy. Now, you see, now, Robert is reading very well, but he's reading water animals. But this one is killing of small animals in the soil. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so you have to be very keen. Be very, very keen. The, co the choices are correct, but now, in which way? Mm -hmm. sure. Very good. Leila? Killing of small animals in the soil by acidic rain. Ikosa, mm. kosa by acidic rain. Nasi split of split <laughs> all six on the bad feather, making it are, difficult. You are talking feather. about effects of what? Read the heading first. Read the heading. Heading so, of what you are reading. Polluted water affects animals in the following way, except. No heading of what you are reading. No, I'm not reading from a book. Oh, sorry. Sure. So the sure, I have agreed sure. now that the choice B is the correct answer. Very good, sure. girl. Thank you. Uh -huh. I say choice yeah. C is the correct answer. Thank you. Sure. Oh, you again. Sure. Yes, sure. sure. I'm saying it is B because... Yeah. One person, uh, please. When you see somebody is talking, you unmute. Uh, you unmute. Uh -huh. Kill, killing of small animals in the soil by acid rain, that is the air, air pollution by the industrial gases, sulfur and okay. carbon combined. To Very good, girl. Uh, you are girl of a boy, thank you. Bye. Uh, Evelyn, the prefect now to, is talking. Eh? I personally think that the answer should be D. Mm -hmm. Since this is an effect of air pollution uh -huh. on animals. D, I'm a B. D. You see, Evelyn, 
this, who was reading? Roba? Roba? Yes. Read for Evelyn effects of water pollution on animals. The apart of toxic chemicals are. We are saying this and there are some animals that are staying inside the water. So when water is polluted, they get their oxygen from water. So when they inhale, they be affected. Can you read it that part? Dissolved chemical substances and fertilizers may cause harm to animals or even kill them. Very good. Because they are inhaling them. The chemicals are inside the water. They inhale them. Thank you. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now that you have agreed, you are the prefect. Let's now continue. So the answer is boy. All right, let's move on. Please, science, you have to analyze. Here you yeah. I always get it. Just in wait. Excuse me, sir. Wait fast, wait fast. I will give you time. I always being offended when you are fini finishing science with one hour. We have to read these choices. If you just take them, you will get all the answers. But when the marking scheme is coming, you find that you have zero because you are just answering questions uh, 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 shallowly like that. Science, you have to be very, very keen. And now I'm very happy that people now have seen the reason why the number 33, they were supposed to analyze and then come up and know which one is the correct answer. Justin? Sure, by affecting their growth, what does that, does that mean? Does that mean now they stop growing? They, they can affect their growth. They become standard growth. There are so many things uh, uh, that can affect the growth. They might have so, some problems growing. Eh? So how is inhaling toxic chemicals related to standard growth? Then? You see, you see the way the chi Chinese look like? And the Japanese? Yes. It's because of some chemicals, I don't know, you know, with science, we normally don't talk about fantasy, but I hear that they, they, there were some chemicals being in the Second World War, which I was not sure whether it happened. Nuclear. Nuclear that affected them. But no, with science, we don't talk about them because we don't, we cannot prove. But actually, you see, they have been affected. Their growth, the way they look like, and all those kind of things. So the chemicals can affect the growth. Let's now move. We have taken time there. Let's move on now. So you can also still do research and come up with your answer. Science is you know, is, is, is open. You do research and then really uh, get the answer. And I'm very happy to hear that some of you have already gotten the reason why answer was boy. Correct. Let's move on. Number 34. 34. Sharon? Why did people fail this one now? You need to know two things. That science is very, very interesting. No inhaling and exhaling. Full stop. What happened to the ribs? What happens to the rib when we, uh, we inhale? In fact, master one, the other one is the opposite. If I say move downward, when I breathe in, then when I move, uh, when I breathe out, it moves upward. That's the only thing that you need to know. So science is very, very, you can't cheat it with science paper. Kwana kalamu no andike. Come on, we are talking about this diagram here. I've already labeled here. P is what? P is trachea. R is what? Bronchioles. K, uh, uh, Q is what? That was chest cavity. Then S is what? Diaphragm. I've already written them. Now, let me now check. Breathing in, what happens to all of them? And then breathing out is the opposite. Are we clear? Yes. Yes. So during breathing, so first of all, let's let's list breathing in first. The opposite is breathing out. So we only need to know one. So let's know one, breathing in first. Number one. Number one, number one, number one. The number ribs one. move, the ribs move upwards and outwards. So that's number one, upward and outward. You can even touch your rib and then move in. Can everybody stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Simama, can you hook up? Now we're getting the video on. During your science, you put your video on so that we are able to see you standing. Aya. Now breathe in. The lips move upwards and 
outwards. That's number one. You can even stand up during exam. Number two. Number two. The diaphragm move downwards. The diaphragm move downwards and forming which shape? Flatten. Flatten. Can you breathe in again? Breathe in, everybody. One, two, three. The Afra moved downwards. That is correct. Thank you very much. This girl is doing it very nice. This girl, I will give you, buy for you something. Oh, you need the lean. Ah, yeah. Next, number number three. <laughs> pressure in the chest cavity uh, decreases. Pressure in the chest cavity decreases. Why is this pressure decreases? To allow the air to enter. So you breathe in, the pressure decreases to allow the air to enter. So then number four. Number four. The volume of the chest increases. The volume of the chest cavity increases. Number five. The lungs expand. The lungs expand. So once I've known those ones, the opposite is that. So during breathing. When the when pressure in the part R, R is the is the lung, right? Eh? Or in the bronchioles increases. When the pressure increases, when will pressure increase? Pressure is going when? to increase when I'm breathing outside. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So automatically, which one is the correct answer there? Shall we move upward? Sir. Yeah. What type of pressure are we talking about? The chest cavity. Boy, Nani, Monet. This the the pressure in the chest cavity. That's the one we are talking about. Okay. Mm. Which one do you think we are talking about? Okay. So the answer becomes what? B. B is part B. Part B is ah, yeah. P. B. No. B. The correct answer is B. Boy. B. Yes. Boy, no. Boy is correct, yes. Part level Q. Q is the chest cavity. All the ribs moves downwards and inwards. Because last time it was moving upward and outward. Then this one it will move downwards and inwards. Automatically, that's the correct answer. Boy is the correct answer. Let's move on. Number forty-nine. Four prime. Number thirty-one. Wait yes. fast. We're answering the question that the most fail fast, so that we finish. If you have said number thirty-nine, number forty-nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. Forty nine. If you fail it, if you fail it, read it. Which of the following changes of the of state level temperature in the surrounding? One you have you have had somebody reading, just mute. So that uh, that person who was reading. Excuse me. Sir. Which of the following? Which of the following? Which of the following, the following pairs, of, which of, the following <laughs> pairs of changes of state leads to the decrease in temperature in the surrounding? Very good. Evelyn, what were you asking? I was asking you to repeat number that. <laughs> Ryan. 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 Ryan will be removed from the meeting in the next one minute. Don't talk. If you want to talk somewhere with somebody there, mute so that we don't get you. Okay. So, this is one of the star questions. And it's very, very, very interesting that some of you are not getting this. It is very, very easy. It's a question that you need to know. And uh, Sharona will present just for one minute.
uh, so that I draw something for you to see. But I think that this one I've ever drawn. I've ever drawn it for you. I don't know why you are still unable to get this question. It is very, very important. This question is the most tested. And if I can just read for you from 2206, from 206, how many times that question of effects of heat has been tested, you will be surprised to know that it's yes, it has been tested more than the number of years that you have been in this world. That question of effects of heat on matter. It is very, very important. So uh, let me add one presentation so that uh, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So it's still uh, loading. So there are 12, who can remind me of the questions that I said are in this, are in this uh, question that can be brought in exam? Because I've ever talked about it. Charoni will resume later after I'm done. Decrease and increase in temperature. So there is a decrease and increase in temperature. Another one. Another one. Change of state of matter. Change in the state of matter. That is the that is the topic. But now the question we are talking about the twelve questions that can be tested here. I've ever I've ever taught you this, but let me just repeat it. Now, look at what we are saying. Let's say we have ice here. This is the ice. So the ice will go here, go here, then go here, and then go here, and then come back here, and then go here, so what are you and doing? then come back here. Yeah, have you seen something? No. Oh, you are not seeing my screen? We are. Yes. We are seeing. We are, are seeing. Oh, yes. If you are seeing this, okay. I will explain what I've drawn there. Have you seen what I've drawn? Evelyn? Yes. So that's, let's say that is ice. Yes. Now, now most of you have, have, have seen ice. Is an ice a solid or a liquid? A so, solid. 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 So when ice is here. Now, when you move ice from the fridge, what normally happens is that it becomes water, but it's come water poly poly. So when ice read here negative is zero degrees, this process here is called melting. So ice melt and become a liquid at this table. Then after the ice has become a liquid. If you expose it to heat again, it evaporates. So this process here is called evaporation. Sir. Then, then the ice evaporates and become a gas. Hey. So here, we call here vaporization. It becomes vapor. Then when it becomes vapor, when this thing is cooled, the vapor is cooled, it will condense to liquid. Then condensation, uh, condense, condense, and then ice start becoming solid here. And this process here is called freezing. Are you there? Yes. So these are the processes that we have. These are the most tested processes in an exam. Somebody's microphone is on. OK. So we have melting here. Melting is the process by which a solid changes to a liquid. So does it require heat? Yes. So in, increase of heat. So this one requires heat. We have writing right there. Heat. This one here also requires heat. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid becomes a gas. So this is heat. At this point here, temperature remains the same. If it is water, the temperature there is 100. So all the water will change to vapor at this point. At 
microphone. This girl here called Chemi. Put your microphone off. Okay, so then after that, after it has become vapor, then it becomes liquid again by condensation. So condensation is a process by which a gas changes into a liquid. So they have become a liquid up to here. If you think upper, then there's this process which we call freezing. So the water now become a solid. Me, that is freezing, yes. Sir, if Monet is saying that she cannot understand what you're saying. <laughs> oh, so I don't know how will I explain it. Uh, let me have it here. Let me clear that one first, but I will come back to that. Monet, will you understand this one now? Then we have liquid. Then we have gas. Then we have liquid. Monet, tell us if you will understand this one now. So the process by which a solid change to a liquid that is melting, then liquid to gas, that is evaporation, then gas to liquid, that is condensation, then liquid to solid, that is freezing. Monet, are you there now? Monet? Evelyn, is she there? Excuse me, teacher. Yes, yeah, she is understanding. Yes. Okay, so you're okay now. So, we are saying, if I have a solid, yes. and that solid want to change to a, a, a liquid, then I need heat. So this one, increase of heat. I have a liquid, and that liquid need to change to gas, I have to heat it. So this one require increase of heat. I have a gas, and I want that gas to come to liquid. That one does not require heat, so it requires decrease of heat. Then I have a liquid, and I want that liquid to become a solid. That's why I'm putting, I'm putting water in the fridge, and therefore that is decrease. Let's decrease. Understood? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Now, yes. What is sublimation? Uh huh. That one is not going to be brought for you, but yeah, yeah, it's just this one changing. If this solid is changing directly to a gas, that's what is called sublimation. But that's not going to be brought to you. But we'll do it during that process. That day, that day we are doing, uh, we are doing practical. We'll do sublimation also, but it's not going to be brought in exam. I am. Thank you. How many people here have ever taken tea? A hot tea? <laughs> All of us. Yes. If you ever come like this and it has tea and you touch it like this, what happened? And mute. Pardon. Kuna chai kwa kikombe na hiyo chai wewe unamegusa hapa what do you what is happening atomeka unachomeka very good in the process that you are getting heat from the cup somebody is talking please i want to explain this thing so that you understand Unmute. mute if you need mute i am so if in the process of you getting Heat from the cup which has a tea, hot tea, what is happening to the tea? It is losing. What is happening to the tea? So, I want to explain this one here now here. The solid to liquid require increase in temperature. So where is it going to get this increase in the temperature? It's going to get this increase in temperature from the surrounding. So what is going to happen to the surrounding? The surrounding is going to feel cold. But like uh, uh, those who are next to the kitchen right now, they can do it. Those who are next to the to the to the to the to the pea kit, maybe somewhere. If you can get a spirit, put it on your hands. If you can't get a spirit, put saliva in your hands. Right now, please. 
do it right now. If you have a spirit, can you do it? And tell us what do you feel? Nani amepata spirit somewhere? Mwenye amepata spirit somewhere? Ah, this boy. I'm a sanitizer. sanitizer. I'm a sanitizer. People nowadays have sanitizers. Put them yeah. on your hand. I'm feeling tell cold. Me what you're feeling. Tell me. Feeling cold. cold. Thank cold. you. Why do you cold. feel cold? Why do you feel cold? Cold. Tell us. Hey, Nicole, why do you feel cold? Why do you feel cold? Nicole, <laughs> Why? Why do you feel cold? Because let me just explain one more time. I'm feeling cold because the spirit is evaporating. So when it is evaporating, which is absorbing heat from the surrounding, so when it's absorbing heat from the surrounding, it decreases. It makes the surrounding lose heat. That the same place melting and evaporation. So melting and evaporation decreases the temperature of the surrounding. Why? Because they absorb heat from the surrounding. They take heat from the surrounding. Very good. So the same applies to the cup that I was talking about. When the cup is losing heat, the tea is losing heat, the surrounding become hot. That's why your hands feel hot when you touch the cup as the cup lose heat. So these two processes, which de require decrease in temperature, why do they require decrease in temperature? They lose heat to the surrounding. So when they lose heat to the surrounding, it is the surrounding that becomes hot, but not them. So that's why this question here. So now you can now, uh, you can now resume, resume, Nini, resume presentation so that we explain now. Sharon, resume. Okay. So freezing and condensation, they increases the temperature of the surrounding. Whereas evaporating and melting decreases the temperature of the surrounding. Why? Because they absorb heat from the surrounding. And those who have put the sanitizers in their hand or the spirit in their hand, you have seen that when there is evaporation, there is a cooling effect. I hope you have understood. Yes, thank you. Teacher. Thank you yes, very much. So, Evelyn, do you have any question? Yes, thank you. Do you have any question? Yes. Number? Number 11. So we answer number 11. The remaining question, we are going to answer them on Wednesday. Wednesday, we are also going to have a so if you have a question, we are going to answer your question on Wednesday. So let's just answer number 11 first, then we stop there. Yeah, at time, go to are you six, watering? Eh? And also number 16. Wednesday, 2 p.m. Wednesday, 2 p.m. We'll, we'll answer all your questions now. Today we are just answering the most failed. Are you was watering seedlings? in a nursery bed using a plastic bottle as shown below. So you see now those are the holes that are there opening and airtight. So then which of the following conclusion could he make from the activity? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen when we have we have airtight, so opening here, so air will enter here. So pressure in liquids uh, is decreases with height, no? It's exerted in all direction. It's exerted in all direction is equal at the same depth depends on the volume of the bottle so which one the correct answer for that huh what were they marking it's exactly, it's exactly that all the all directions. Directions. That is very, very this diagram this is for, even is in the primary science the way it is like this one so that's in all direction when we are talking about decrease in hell in, in, in height or increases with depth we talk about the can and then the four holes and then uh, equal at the same depth we normally put them at the same level. So then the water will be thrown at the same level. So kindly explain number 16. 16, in order to reduce friction between objects, the contact surfaces are area should not be, if you want to reduce uh, friction, we want to reduce friction uh, from the 
uh, 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 surface area. Remember I said last time when we are here discussing here on Wednesday, I said friction must come. They have four things. You have increase, decrease, uh, and another advantage and disadvantages. So in order to reduce friction, we want to reduce friction, the contact surface area should not be increased, should not be streamlined, should not be polished, should not be loose, uh, loosely pressed. <laughs> so which one is the correct answer there? Should eh? not be increased. Not should, not be should not be increased. <laughs> yeah. Why? That would you tell me the reason why? Contact area is this one when they are like this. So when you when you increase the contact area, what is going to happen? They are increasing friction. You are going to increase friction. Thank you. That, who is that one who has said that? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. That's correct. So that's the correct answer. The, all of these ones are here is reducing friction. So, guys, number? Please, number 21. 21. Let me move to 21 and 29, then we we'll stop there. The remaining ones we'll do later. People are also tired now. Another lesson. No, no, today. Uh, they were supposed to be English. I will tell you if it is there. I have 21. Which of the following is not an effect of air pollution? This is another one. It encourages the growth of water weeds, pollute air causes respiratory problems, presence of smog reduces visibility, acidity and causes weathering of rocks. This one is very, very clear. Automatically, uh, number A, A is for what? A is for water. Is that correct? So A is for water. That is direct. So uh, that is very direct. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's let let me check if we have English. If we have